Sean, uh, we've come to a part of the Acheron Passage and we thought we'd try our luck with some fishing. Put some kaimuana on the table. It's a great activity, lots of fun. And there's some certain practices that you uh, do here on board uh, Flightless to ensure fishing is sustainable. Mm -hmm. And um, so what are some of those things that you do to make sure that our fish stocks have been preserved for the future? Well, there's a few different things we do on board here. Um, recommendations by the Fjord and Marine Guardians who help us look after this environment for the future generations. Uh, they tell us things like the hook size, for example. So six barrow hook size, that there means we'll only catch the larger fish. So we're not yeah. catching all those small ones. We also take it a step further. We remove the barbs off our hooks. Right. Great practice, because it makes it easier for you to remove your fish. So if you have a fish that you have to return, nice and easy to take it off. And I notice you've only got one hook on this rig. Yep. Well, we're out there fishing. As you say, great activity. We might as well sit there and fight with that one fish versus trying to do some of that bulk harvesting. That's just keep it to one hook, bring up one fish at a time. Then you know what it feels like. A lot more fun. And of course, when you've caught a, a fish um, or, you know, a few fish, it's, you know, the old way I was brought up, you take the fillets off, skin it, bone it, chuck, chuck the scraps away, but you know, it's there's so much more we can do with the whole fish, isn't there? Definitely, yeah. Well, you look at it as a fish as a whole there, it's all edible. So what we do on board Flightless is we will scale our fish, so then we have our skin, so we can uh, consume the skin by itself. Uh, you then have your fillets that you take off it, uh, then you have your frame itself, you can smoke your frame up yep. or you can make yourself a nice fish stock out of it. There's so much meat on those bones and on those heads. Uh, and then it's the livers also that we can consume and the wings. So yeah. it's all flesh um, and the joy of doing it that way, you don't have to be amazing at filleting. It does get better after time, but you're going to be eating it all anyway. Yeah, yeah nice. And there's also uh, a marine app a fish, fishing app that's been developed that you're using as well to help monitor fish stocks around Fiordland? Correct, yeah, so uh, mainland catch we're, uh, we're using at the moment, which um, gets us to record where we're fishing, uh, the fish we're catching, who's catching it, take some photos, it's fun, yeah, you can uh, show who's got the biggest fish for the day there. Yeah, so that's, that's us as a recreational, as a charter boat, uh, we have to record our fish stocks, as do the commercial guys. So it's great for everyone to get in there, record what fish have been taking out of the ocean, how we're doing it, where we're doing it, and it gives us a really good idea on how our system is going. Yeah, brilliant. All right, sustainable fishing, fishing for the future, so we can always have fun. Hey, thanks, Sean, and I might go and try my luck. Good luck with that. <laughs>